Welcome back to third episode. This will be an interesting one, I think, because this touches on thinking, planning and making decisions, especially making a key decision that will influence the whole game and the months or weeks to come. This is just me thinking out loud, but usually I just do this in my head silently and a lot quicker. So enjoy this before I uh, start editing the next one. Welcome back to day 14. It's been a while. I didn't record because I wasn't at home. So what happened? Both Romania and Ukraine became inactive and now it's me and Lithuania in secret alliance against Spain and the Pact of Stonk and Love which is made of Spain, Norway and Sweden. So Norway and Sweden are fighting Lithuania head on. Uh, Spain also declared war on Lithuania to decrease their morale because if you hover over your provinces like this you can notice that at war with one country which gives you minus five morale influence. So my plan right now is to stay put. I'm moving all of my armies here. I already have a lot of artillery because I'm leveling up my factories to the max and I'm doing that as fast as I can so I'm timing my uh, production outputting much as I can and I might build another one here but I have a problem right now which is one Spain just offered me hey you see these guys there are three of them together but now West Libya I don't know he's being taken over by East Libya and uh, Arabia so Spain offered me hey let's help West Libya out but I'm not gonna accept it of course because I have friendly relations with Arabia we're not doing too well here because he took this from me and I kinda want it back so I'm not gonna accept it but I'm gonna be like hey whatever do your thing as long as you don't take Greece because I don't want him landing here it's controlled by East Libya for now but he might be coming over to take it uh, or West Libya will take it whatever happens I don't want Spain here um, and that's because he'll have me surrounded and I don't want that so best scenario is staying out of this so he's a bit preoccupied here and if they'll start fighting Arabia will ask my help but I don't want to help because what I want to do is take out Romania as fast as possible but that's not easy because they have a lot of units right now they have yeah 121 which is almost the size of my army but the problem is I don't have a lot of artillery and if I attack Romania, like I need to consider protecting this many provinces. Well, this included. So it's not an easy task because the AI will most likely rush towards artillery that's bombing him. But he can also attack random provinces here. And I can't afford to build forts everywhere. My main forts are here, as you can see. Like I'm leveling them up uh, as fast as possible. And basically I have to be careful because he has a home advantage here. Direct access to these provinces here. So it's tough. Stuff. My hopes for the future are one, Lithuania here holds up well and once the war starts with Spain I'll join him from a coalition together and maybe Arabia might be willing to join. I don't know what East Libya is planning, um, they don't look like that good of a player to be honest so hopefully Libya will join our side later on. But yeah I'm gonna control all of Black Sea <laughs> and uh, we'll see what happens here. So, the end of day 14. Spain has just declared war on Arabia and East Libya, which means that he'll be preoccupied there. I even have spy reports of his troops going down in Africa. And this gives me an opportunity to invade Romania early on. I wasn't planning to do this so early because, well, I can't afford to lose my armies, especially when Spain is so up close. But since he'll be preoccupied, I'll be able to take Romania with relative ease. Uh, I'm doing it early on though because, well, later Romania will have a lot more troops to take. The AI will also build a lot of forts so it's easier to take them out now and also the AI might cancel my right of way which means that I won't be able to send my new forces to the west so keeping this right of way or connection is quite critical I can't just send my new armies down to the sea right here like this so I'll have to take them out later, sooner or later and the sooner I can do it the better in this case Spain seemed kind of friendly but I think we'll have fight I want that province back I did not forget this one I'm gonna take that back so, day 15, I already started to make a move on Romania, uh, the AI is just moving his troops around. I'm taking a risk here by not helping Arabia or Lithuania, because both are quite a risk at the same time, but in all honesty, I just want to take out Romania as fast as possible, so that's what I'm gonna do. And if they get weaker, that sucks, but at the end of the day, I'm allied with both.
Looks like somebody's in trouble. Yeah, he got lazy and just marched into here with all of his army. I don't know how successful that will be since he's also being bombarded by an artillery here. It's kind of smart. I mean, face them head on, sure, but leaving yourself exposed here is not very smart. Uh, things are not looking so good. Lithuania seems to have given up completely. He's just marching in to their mainlands while they are marching in to Russia. So it's race against time I guess. Uh, it's quite funny because he just decided to screw it. Just walk around and hit them where it hurts. He told me to come in and take his territories but I don't want him to stop playing since he's a good ally. But I wouldn't mind him just taking them out and then uh, saying fuck it I'm gonna leave because I'll get all these provinces and... I'll win solo as I was planning from the beginning. But yeah, now the dilemma is should I attack Romania since I'm almost in position, almost, or should I help out Lithuania? Um, I sent him a message saying, yeah, look, if you want to do what you're doing, sure, go for it, but it would be better if you hold on until I take out Romania so we can together take on to Spain and the Scandinavians. He's also doing this because they produced uh, a cruiser already, which means that they will be able to bombard his shores and he won't be able to protect uh, these provinces for example. Down south nothing interesting, uh, further the militarization. Um, Libya did something different or weird. They just sent me a province offer which I'm glad I didn't accept. You should be careful because if I did accept this I would have been at war with Spain since he was attacking and taking that province. So it's a bit cheeky from him but I'm gonna ignore it since I don't care about him. Um, Arabia seems to be doing well. They, they will be preoccupied here for a while. Oh, they're actually using the balloons. Never do. I don't know why but I never do. Well maybe I should. I can't. Yeah I'm not gonna produce a balloon because I wanna keep pumping out artillery 24-7 as much as I can. Uh, I might do it here actually because there's also a double resource province and uh, I'm going to need to build a factory here later on. But I'm not doing it right now because if Spain takes over he will also have my factory in here. Tomorrow I will find out statistics for the mightiest armies. Last time I wasn't doing so good. Spain was slightly above me and Sweden as well but they both lost a lot of units and we can check that right now. Spain, well Spain seems to be doing good so far. Norway got obliterated completely that I remember and Sweden is also losing quite a significant amount of units while all I'm doing is gaining them. So it will be interesting to see what happens. Um, as you can see here things are going a bit rough. Uh, I haven't read these, I'm just looking, I haven't read them. Um, to be honest I don't care about the role playing aspect of this game. Kinda cool sometimes but yeah, nah. Oh, they actually took over hmm, Athens. So Greece is gone. They had a huge stack of 74 units, but they're gone. I was waiting for these troops to pass through. So I'll start attacking as soon as I get a reply from Lithuania, since I offered him to help. But either I move in to help Lithuania and hope Spain won't push in too hard and Romania won't cancel my right of way. Or I hope Lithuania holds on long enough so that I can take out Romania and... Uh, create a new army here so that I can support him up in Russia, which is what I'm doing right now. But yeah, dilemmas, choices, plans might change, you never know. And let's see what happens tonight. Wait, what? Did he actually... What? Why would you... He's fighting a war here for several days now and then he just goes in, takes US lands and just skedaddles out of there. Yeah, he definitely did not need this one. So, moment of truth. Um, I'm in position to attack, but I'm kind of hesitant. Spain seems to be preoccupied here, and he's hi it's highly unlikely he will attack me from the back. Plus, I doubt he can take on Arabia, and Lithuania needs my help ASAP. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm not really confident about it, but look, he already built level 2 forts, and I can't afford to let him build more. Well, better late than never, right? Okay, let's do it. Hello? Oh, nice. So my troops will disembark a lot sooner. Okay, here goes nothing. Now let's see what the AI does. There you go. As I expected, the AI is going to attack through here. So I don't even have to defend this. <laughs> and he does this because this is shorter for him. 
So he just basically calculates the shortest route, not the best one. But I'm still going to play safe though. Okay, nothing is moving here. This is happening. Nothing here. So all I have to do now is wait. You know what? I'm not going to do that actually because I need them at the front lines. Instead, I am going to send these guys here. And then these guys at the same amount, five, and move them down here. This way it will take a bit less time since he will be here in one hour instead of five. There you go. So yeah, I'll cut off Greece as soon as possible. I can even take this, but I'm not gonna because he's gonna just rush in and take it away from me. So I'm gonna wait for reinforcements here. Okay, so the revolution has begun. Let's see how many troops I'll lose. I don't wanna lose any, but there's no choice. Oh, and before I forget, my eighth artillery. How much do I have now? Yeah, eight. Just got produced, so I had enough spare iron ore and <laughs> I started making a tank. Next thing I wanna do is make a light cruiser or a battleship. I prefer a battleship. It's expensive but in 15 hours have enough iron ore to produce a battleship <laughs> and even another level of factory. Okay, war declared. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So, hope this video helps you with planning in your games and uh, hope it helps you win more games. Hmm. Anyways, don't forget to have fun and uh, enjoy the game.